do you make of the news of Dennis Allen uh, virtually, essentially, announcing that they're going with Andy Dalton, at least for the foreseeable future, at quarterback? I don't think it changes anything. Uh, I mean, you look at from an offensive standpoint, the production, uh, as far as what they've been able to do, I think, you know, uh, overall, they want to have some continuity as far as offense, and that's what they've been able to have. I mean, now, for uh, Andy and the offense, they know what they have to do if they want to be competitive in games, and that's eliminate the mistakes and the turnovers. Deuce, how is this, you think, perceived in the locker room or received in the locker room? I mean, guys know that, hey, look, you have to go out and produce, and it's probably unfortunate for Jameis just because he was not 100% healthy to be able to go out there and produce. I mean, but at the end of the day, each individual knows that they have to be held accountable. And, you know, for them, they said, hey, look, we want to continue to do what we're doing offensively, but we must uh, do a better job of protecting the football. Deuce, do you think Dennis Allen might serve himself and the team better by just stepping back as a play caller and just focus on being a head coach and let either Ryan Nielsen or Chris Richard call the defense? I wouldn't necessarily say that. I mean, because there's plenty of other head coaches that call offense or defensive plays. So it's not like he's doing something that other coaches aren't doing across the league. And so if that was the case, then you might have yourself something. But uh, there are other coaches that are calling offensive plays or defensive plays across the league. And I'm not even going back and comparing it to Sean Payton. I'm, I'm talking about like right now, other coaches that are in their first or second year, they're calling the plays. So, you know, he feels comfortable doing it. And maybe it's something at the end of the season, they go ahead and, and make a change and feel like that they can operate better. But, you know, right now it's not foreign for the head coach to be involved either with his offense or defensive unit. Uh, you look at Rashid Shaheed uh, became the second player since 1991 to score a scrimmage touchdown at least 40 yards in his first two career offensive touches. The other one was uh, Hollywood Brown did it in 2019 with the Ravens. And uh, both of his, though, were in the same game. So uh, I, I don't know. Doesn't he have deserve maybe a handful of touches instead of maybe even one or two or half a dozen? <laughs> well, I mean, he definitely deserves it, Bob. I mean, but, Bobby, you know, as I know, you, you got you to gotta know what you're doing. And so that's the biggest thing also when you look at it from that standpoint. From that standpoint, just understanding and knowing what you're doing right. and then making sure that um, – He's comfortable in those situations. There were opportunities and, and opportunities or at least situations that they wanted to get him in the ball, the ball, uh, the last game, but they were not able to convert. You've got to almost force it in certain situations. 